He spent eight years in the NFL playing for the Dallas Cowboys and Denver Broncos. Today, he's a businessman, owner of the Kerr's Wing House Bar and Grill chain. Crawford Kerr, welcome. And tell me, what was that transition from football to business like? I tell you what, it was tough in the beginning because uh, you know you're so used to playing football and you're developed since a young child to do that. And then when you get thrown into the wolves of business, it's it's uh, it's a tough transition. Mm -hmm. It really is. But you know you just got to find your niche, and I was lucky enough to find it in the restaurant business. The restaurant business now is not an easy one, especially for those who haven't done it before. So what made you choose that industry? Well, my dad was in the business growing up, and I was always around it, from cooking in back of the houses of different restaurants, different Italian restaurants. So it didn't really give me my pedigree to do it, but I ran into a partner and uh, opened up my first restaurant in 94, and soon after bought the partner out and really kind of had to learn the business from the ground up. and. Being the president, you better know it, and uh, I just spent a lot of time working at it and developing it. 94, so that means you guys are celebrating 20 years 20 now. 20 years. What skills would you say that you took from the football field into this restaurant business? I think, I think in, 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 in business is a lot like athletics. It's structure. It's everybody has their position, uh, their place, and you have to have the leadership. And, I was lucky enough to have some great leaders and, and Coach Tom Landry from the Dallas Cowboys and also the harder type of Jimmy Johnson from University of Miami. So uh, I didn't know I was getting a, a mentorship watching them all those years, but I picked up a lot of things of leadership and, you know, who does what in, in the positions of, of corporate structure. Uh, the NFL is like the military. It's very structured, a lot of meetings, a lot of... Uh, agendas and a lot of accountability and, and I just try to bring that into the restaurant business I was doing. And now you have over 20 locations 24, as you're celebrating 20, the 20th year. Yeah, 20, 20 locations and, and, and 24 locations in 20 years. And so what are your plans to grow the business even further? Uh, you know, we, we work on about a 20% growth uh, model. So we try to do two or three corporate stores a year. Uh, you know, our target's four. But, uh, you know, you need finances and you need people. So the toughest part is people, developing people through your training systems mm -hmm. to be able to grow. You know, then we'll launch franchising a little later. I always thought about 23, 24, I'd franchise because a lot of companies franchise too early and they come and go. So we kind of kept it corporately. And, you know, we do about $62 million in gross sales. So for a small company, it's, it's, um, it's profitable. Yes, it's really impressive. Yes. And, you know, I read once that you owned one house and drove one Chevy pickup truck during your eight years in the NFL. If you had to give advice to pro athletes, young pro athletes today, about protecting their life after sports, what would you say? Is it all about living within your means? Well, yes. I think it's about budgets, and I think it's about not uh, blowing the money you make because that NFL money is not going to last you all your life. You know, I came out of football at 29 years old, so it's a long life after that. And uh, being an offensive lineman back in the 80s, you didn't make the type of money you, you read about in the papers uh, today. So it's important whatever you make to save, even if it's in a bank at one or two percent, a lot of these guys want the quick buck and, and want to make riches overnight and in broadcasting or restaurants or any kind of field, it takes a while. It took me 20 years to kind of get where you're at. So you, you got to uh, like the process and not mind working at it. All right, thank you so much, Crawford Kerr. I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.